everyone. Hello, everyone. Is this your YouTube channel again? Sorry. Welcome to her YouTube channel. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Anulua, and I feel more about faith. <laughs> you have nothing in me. Family and food and music, so everything. Oh, fire, A little bit of. A little bit of everything. So welcome to this channel. If you are new here, please use the subscribe button. Please click that button and then turn on your notification to get um, notifications when I post new videos. So thank you so much for joining me. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming. Please leave a comment, like, and share this with your friends. So today's video is a very interesting one, and I'm very excited to share it with you. It's long due and it's such a honor to share it with you so welcome our guest to the channel is a guest please this is my channel uh, <laughs> today like i said we are having a new video and we want to discuss how we met so if you are we met <laughs> Sorry guys, how we met, yeah. So and how I said the first I love you. <laughs> it's not funny. No. People have said I should have been the one to say sorry. Hmm? People have said what? It wasn't what like was I said. Step? If it wasn't like I said I love you, like outright, like I love you, bro, marry me. I love you in the, with the love of the Lord. Ah, it wasn't like that. It was just an outburst of of from of within. Worship. <laughs> <laughs> it was just an outflow. When I get there, I would explain. The of the if uh, you know, you know that it was <laughs> the <third> dimension. <laughs> okay, it was a fire. That it's, if it was not like I act you out. <laughs> no, no, I, of course not. Okay. I was so, but I, I love you was like I love you in Jesus. Like I love you so much in the Lord. And just, in fact, it was one of those actually after. He did prayers. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it was just like something flow. <laughs> why are you trying to justify what is not? It wasn't wrong. So what's the thing of the top? Oh. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, so um I, I feel like it's time for us to talk about this now and we believe it's going to be less. Okay, so um I go first. Um so I've been praying. Father Lord said to me, Oluwa, oh. <laughs> if you now, <laughs> if you let me concentrate so that I can make this video. All right. So I've been praying before then. I, I had had some relationships that did not go out the way I planned, and I desired that God sent me somebody that would love and that would love me, and you know, you know, you know the whole. Uh, marriage thing. So, um, where do I start the story from now? So, earlier that year, I won't mention the year so that you will not calculate for me. <laughs> okay, so earlier that year, I I remember that during my birthday, I prayed, I was asking the Lord that, ah, Lord, will you not give me man? Everybody have man. <laughs> Everybody have man. At least. <laughs> Most people, not everybody do, most people have man already. So, Lord, will you not settle me in the that I'm I may a, rejoice I'm a woman, in I need a man to make me a woman. I'm already a woman, bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, I was like, God, would you not give me a man? I was very direct, and that's me when I pray. I'm always very, very direct, and I'm like, God, this is what I need. So, I was like, God, give me man now. What's going on? So that was during my birthday that year, and before then, I had a situation where I had to say no to a particular relationship, and it was so tough because I was like, God, this looks like what I want, but when I prayed, it was like, no, don't go on this journey and all that. So during my birthday, I remember firing prayer, my spiritual father prayed for me that the Lord will settle you, the Lord will settle you, I was like, amen, sir, amen, amen. <laughs> So that was it. I was all prepared and I prayed and I was like, God, I needed, you know, to gain, you know, clarity and settlement in this part of my life. So that year, after the prayers, 
God gave me a word and then he showed me some things concerning the package to come. Package. Yet full package. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so God told me some things that would show me that this is this person when he comes. So it wasn't like I saw him flying in a vision. But oh, like no, I had no. <laughs> I had some indications to show that this is what this person will look like. And I think that's what God does most times. He paints a picture of um who he wants us to spend the rest of our lives with. Yes, I I don't I don't I do not say that I'm not saying that God does not tell us expressly. God can show people pictures you get. But for me, I'd been seeing plenty of brothers in my vision. So it's not like God saying I will marry them, but it was like I will see this brother. I will even see people's wives, like who they are supposed to get married to, you know, things like that. So for me not to confuse, you know, my visions for others, um, for God's visions for me, it was important that God spoke to me through several means you get. So God gave me an indication that this is what this person looks like when it comes, not visually, I mean content. Yeah, so that was June. So it was later that year, around October, I think. I went to church and that particular um Monday, it was a Monday Bible study in church. So that particular Monday I I remember my pastor was like, uh, he quoted a particular scripture and that scripture just resounded to me and I remember that three years ago God gave me that scripture when I was praying about my marriage when I was asking him God this and that and that so that scripture came back to me and one thing I've realized in my work with God is that when I receive scriptures like the second time it's like I'm near fulfillment of that particular word so it comes to me at first and then I hear it the second time it's like you know, we pay attention to this thing, you are like near to the fulfillment. So I remember going home that day and I was like, ah, I know that I had a knowing that it, it was close. Like my husband was very near for me to grab. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the trophy now. Come on, see, see fine mark. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was like, I knew that oh my husband was near, like my mom. Is no longer far. No longer. The man was on find me. God was directing. You will realize by the time he tells his own part of the story that it was that same October God began to work things out. God was working things on both ends. Hmm. It means that God wants to say, God wants to do something. So I got home that day and the marriage committee called me. It was like, ah, ah what's if we it? Who's the Shelley? Is this the brother? They were like, ah, somebody came for you. We want you to pray about it and all that. And at that point, I wanted to jump at it that, oh, ah, since this thing is coin, it has a coincidence in timing. Like, you know, I heard something in church and then the coming Sometimes home, coincidence is not God's business. It's not every time. You know, sometimes you feel like, every oh, because time. everything is like this, like this, ah, as in accurate you think like that means that it is good it's very important for us to know how god speaks to us not judging um um our hearing by circumstances but judging circumstances by what we have heard you get sometimes if we, if i judged my hearing by oh the, the way the thing aligned that means ah, it is it. i would have made a choice like that before i even heard what god had to say so but when they told me that somebody came for me, I had to pray. I went to pray about it. God, this person was saying me. That's not it. So that was around October. It was in November. I I went to church. Or we used to have a program in church, a prophetic meeting. So I went to church that day, and it was huge for me. God spoke to me. I was God. God was so mighty in that meeting, and I began prophesying. As I began to speak. God was, my husband was there, then he was just a brother, because before now, we don't talk, he comes for the meeting, I also come, so everybody come, come, go their way. The only thing I know about him was that he plays the keyboard, that was all. It was this... Talk, talk. <laughs> okay, so, it was this straightforward person, you know, this kind of brothers that like the Lord, they love the Lord, they like to pray, when it comes like this, you go upstairs to go and pray, 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 I'm like... So, so will I see daddy? But then, no, joking. 
<laughs> Jokes are bad now. So uh, it wasn't. That I was the transaction that brought about you. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I wasn't so so into like we don't talk. We just used to see and each other. So that particular day, yeah, the prophecy came forth, and then the word was according to this time. I will return to you. And I'm going to remember the place you were because you were spying on me. You were spying. It was so heavy or not. She was even after the service. But you need to have one. So, so, um, so, so I, I was. That time. I didn't know that he knew. I've been to send to him. I was just saying what God said to me. It was like, according to this time, I will return to you. According to this time, I will return to you. That was the word. So normally after every prophetic meeting, I go home and go over what had happened. So I went home to go over everything. God said, I'm going to settle you in marriage according to this time. I will return to you. I was like, okay, I believe the Lord you get. So I had to say, you know, say no to that person that had come before after I prayed and God said, no, this is not it. Your own is coming. So I said no. So it was that same November. I got a chat in my inbox. A particular brother chatted me up. Oh, please, let me explain. Like <laughs> so a brother chatted me up and he was like, ah, please, can I have the account number for the ministry? That's the ministry where we are. As attending. directive. Prophetic. If you will explain your facts, allow me. So, um, <laughs> so he, he, he chatted me up and he asked for the account number. And I was like, oh, who is this? So later I went to check his name and I saw that, oh, okay. I was like, ah, oh, okay, that's you. I didn't know you were the born. I didn't even know you. It wasn't like I knew it. I went to check. Hmm. What were you looking for? <laughs> no, now when somebody chatted me up, I was like, who is this person? So I went to check that description now, box where they used to describe a WhatsApp. Yeah. So then I, I was like, so we just chatted. He, he was to pay his tithes and maybe some offerings and all that. So we did that and that was how I saved this number. And whenever I post status, he comments. Put up his status. Put up his status. It's like ah, beautiful, well beautiful done. Glorify star. sister. God bless you, my sister of the Lord. The Lord is with you. <laughs> all those kind of. I was innocent. <laughs> all those kind of hot, hot, you know, scriptural. But I didn't make much of it truly because I wasn't even looking to his direction. It wasn't my view. It wasn't. Oh, a direct speck like that. It wasn't like I had an idol in my heart that my husband was look like this or not. But then, yeah, I I used to like man. guys that have beards. I used to like guys that <laughs> I used to like guys that you know are very very particular about how they dress. But mm-hmm. this is my husband then, because now I, I, I wear shit like a brother. <laughs> <laughs> but then. No, 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 no. The dressing was not it right in God. <laughs> Whenever it comes to church, I'm like, okay, it's not that deep, bro. Dress fine. So I, I used to already, like. I was already uh, God was helping me. <laughs> so I used to like guys that dress so beautiful. Like, I can see your shoe pointed. I can see your trousers. Everything. <laughs> no, no hungry shoes. <laughs> everything is alive. So it wasn't that kind of person. So I was like, Psh. So there was no. He would chat me up. Ah, glorified sister. Please send me this song. Please send me this chance. You know, it was just so spiritual and all that. So I didn't make much of it. And I was just praying, saying my prayer. So we chat whenever there was a cause to. So we chatted like that. That that was November up until December. And then I it was in December I was to go to minister in a particular place. So he thought I was going to come with my spiritual father to minister in his own location so he was asking me uh, am i going to come i said him that i'm going somewhere else i was invited to minister in songs in, a, in another place he was like oh, okay god will go with you god will lead you it was at that point honestly it was after a month of talking and everything it was at that point we did not talk on phone we were just chatting so it was after that at that point i was like this brother that is always sending me go go with you go with you to do my team we go to you i'm like bro are you just generally concerned or you are specifically interested <laughs> Which one are you? I, I, I didn't what? ask him. I didn't ask him. But I began to think. I was like, is this brother just concerned about me? Like, or, or is he specifically interested? 
So that was the first time I gave a thought to it. I remember being in the um, long bus, the yellow bus, and I was thinking, ah, this brother, is it that? Is it that? So it was just in my thoughts. I went for that meeting. The Lord did my things. If I when I finished, particular brother walked up to me, collected my number. He was like, ah, oh, God bless you. God bless you. Let me know he's the husband. Because after God has spoken like this, my antenna was like this, looking for the fulfillment of the word of the Lord. Oh, so I was like, maybe this is the brother. Maybe this is this brother. Is he the one? Is he not the one? He fell down. <laughs> so when I go back from the meeting, <laughs> when I go back from the meeting, it was around 10 p.m. or so. I, and I put up a status that, ah, thank you, Jesus, for strength or something. Uh, my husband um, broke it then. Hmm. He responded, he was like, ah, how was it? I trust that the Lord did mighty things. And I was like, bro, which one are you? Are you going to go straight or you want to pass corners? What is going on? Are you just generally uh, checking up for me? So he, we chatted that night and I was like, I don't get it. Too. I don't want to be close to any brother. I want to avoid any form of you know, too close relationship and everything. So I decided that day that I was going to reduce the way we talk. I'm going to you know, put everything on that check and everything. So I realized that for a whole day we didn't talk. And I began to feel strange. It was like something was taken from me. I was like, how am I feeling like this? That was the first time I, I started paying attention to how I d- realized that I had grown so, I don't know, not like we chatted all the time before that time. It wasn't no, we like never we, we didn't speak we on never phone. Spoke. I didn't know anything yeah. about him. It wasn't like we we're getting to know each other. It wasn't like we we're trying to, you know, know each other. No. It was just like, okay. I put up a status he commented. That was just like friends normally. So I didn't I, I wasn't thinking about Distant him. Friends. Um I was not investing so much time in the relationship to say that maybe it's the time that made uh, the love to start growing. I just saw that I was suddenly it wasn't I don't know, maybe God dropped it at the point I did not know. I became suddenly very affectionate about this person. And I didn't know him. I didn't know where he walked, I didn't know what he did, I didn't know his parents, I didn't know anything about it, apart from the fact that he broke out and the place came out. Finish. So at that point, I realized that after a whole day, I was already feeling somewhere. I was like, what was this feeling? What was going on? Plenty other persons used to check up on me, so it wasn't like he was the only person. Um, you know, at that time, there were others, you mm. get it. Yes, there were. There were others, but then I Should I, I start binding. No, 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 no. no. no I <laughs> so there were others. So it was just like God knew how best to catch me. So when I realized two days later, I sent a message to my spiritual father that hey, I am in Supo. No, before then, before then, I spoke to my best friend. I was like, ah, something is going on. Do you know this bro, Kayode and Portal? And she was like, ah, yes, I know him. Uh, he used to be my, you know, mentor like this. Okay. At that point, he's a very young person. He's nice. Every time I said, no, it's no, me too, I'm asking you. Where does he work? Does he have money? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm joking about that. So I shall ask, what I'm trying to say is that I asked her questions and she, she, she knew more than myself. So she told me, oh, this is what he does. This is who he is. She told me some little things about him and I was like, Okay. okay, so that was it. I, then I now went to my spiritual father and I told him that it's like something is happening to me. It's like I need prayers and I don't know why I'm feeling this way about this person. My spiritual father just said that he has always told me the way that whenever I have a new feeling or I feel strange, I should always ask the Lord about it. That God, what about this one? So he told me to go and pray. I did not know, I did not know that before then. My husband had met my spiritual father and he had told me that this whole God is leading me to do. And my spiritual father knew, but he didn't tell me. So, me, I just went to him. He told me to go and pray. So, I prayed and uh, a day to the end of the year, that particular year, I, I realized that I love this person. This is my husband. That was how he came. It was a knowing. It wasn't like... It, was, it just dropped that... that so this is my husband. I was surprised. <laughs> like, <laughs> so he, he just dropped like, this is my husband. This is him. I was like, God. So God now took me back because I began to probe that knowing. You know, sometimes he, he 
just rested like in knowledge that came from God. I began to probe it. I was like, God, okay. So it now took me back to what he had told me during my birthday that year that I told you this, this, that. The indications he told me that this is how it will happen. He said to me that I will not struggle to love this person. It wouldn't be a struggle that I'm trying to love the person. It will just come on me. So when this came, I was like, God, oh, this is it. So that day we went, it was a watch night service. It was to be there. So we were like night. watch night. <laughs> watch night service. Thank you. So it was a watch night service. I went there with my my friend. She was the only one that knew on my side. I didn't know he at all, like two of his friends before then. So you will say it's part. Anything you must shout. Okay, so um I then I went to no, um, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to um to watch night service and then while we were there I was just looking at him that ah, this boy that I was trying to you know be like why did I even fall in love or why did I I don't know why am I so affectionate about this person I do not even <laughs> why did I, how am I so affectionate about this person I don't even know like so my best friend caught me staring and looking at her. She was like, Mr. Guru, you will find out the way Jesus. you are looking. The way you are looking is going to know. I said, hey, you have messed up me. So we finished that day and um, everybody was packing up. And so he was about to leave with his own friend. And I was like, ah, Brokey, are you going? He was like, uh, yeah, I can stay if you want me to. And I was like, no, no, no. You can go. Ah, but from my mind, I wanted us to stay back. I had questions. I wanted us to talk. I wanted to be like, okay, so why, why am I like this with you? But, so, I think if you are younger, I would have, I would have been very shy and I would have been very <laughs> shy. So, I, 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 I went to the park to enter um, the exit. So, we chatted and I was I was like, ah, bro, okay, so you just left. He was like, no, I would have stayed. If you wanted me to, so I said, ah, okay, no problem, sir. I can't go. So, he said he was going to call me when we get home. So when we got, that was January 1st, the new year. So when we got home that day, he called me and then that was how we began to talk. January 1st, it was the first time we talked on the phone. Just for money. So <laughs> we talked and talked and talked. It was like, this, this is the best way to describe it. It was like two hearts that had already been, you know, informed about something and then God just brings them together because... We kept talking like we had known each other since. Well, we were ca- catching up, catching up on things that had happened in our lives. Oh, God told me this. God told me that. it was like pam pam pam. Everything was just fitting in, and I'm like, what's going on? The, the things I had, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but the alignment was so strong when we discussed the vision God is giving us, God has given him, and what God gave me. It was like it wasn't the same thing. It's not sameness, but there was a sync. There was like an alignment in both. It was like, God told you this too. So I was like, God told you this too. He said, Yes, God told him. I was like, Ha! <laughs> it's about to be very good. So it, it, it was so strong that we talked that day and then we went to prayers. We prayed up until it was like the next day and it was at the end of that prayer. Why are you laughing now? It was at the end of that prayer that some statements came out of my mouth. It wasn't like, I, I knew, no, I knew. So Aisha said, I love you. And he was like, oh, that time you still to call me Sister Glory. Who is your sister? <laughs> eh? So it was like, Sister Glory, I love you too. Very much. Can you go? I was like, ah. Why you, why you say late? that? You're always almost may the Lord, trying to withdraw it. May the Lord <laughs> give you a man to say I love you to you. No, I mean it. It's, it's something that is, the experience is interesting. It's sweet. Truly. And when it's done rightly, it's, it's, it's the bliss is there. So that was how he said, I love you. And so that was how we both knew that this was it. So I went back to my spiritual father now. <laughs> I have done something. I have done something you did not send me. <laughs> so it was like, what happened? So he's like, I can't do this anymore. And this brother can you come. So I, now I was asking my spiritual father that, does he know that? Does he know if my husband then okay does he know if he knows already so my 
out. We talk about the Lord doing anything. It's just like ah, God is working things out. You know all those coded words that we talk about that just to give somebody. It's just like God is working, he is weaving things in accordance to his will. I was like, of course, it's so good with your brother. It's him, bro. Tell me, tell me. So he didn't tell me expressly. So, but then me and my husband we go talking eventually. How did you even say it? Okay. We just got talking. We both knew. I, I just think we were just operating on the basis that we both knew that um, we were meant for each other. So I asked him when he didn't know. He told me that around October, God began to walk. And, and then I realized that it was that same October that a word came to me from God. And I'm like, wow, is this how God does things? So he told me his own story. And then I told him that oh, this is how I knew. He came first at the deep seated affection. And then that January 1st, while we prayed and then we took a break in between, I slept and then the scripture came forth out of my uh, visions and as I read that scripture, it came like the, the confirmation to what I was feeling inside of me because I had submitted my feelings to God because I didn't really understand why I was feeling that way or how. I just knew it was a knowing and then the scripture now came. So it was like I had a knowing, I had a scripture and then I had something that God had spoken to me before which aligned with what I'm experiencing with him. So, <laughs> so that was that was how it was for us. For me, we got talking, and then I found out that he was to leave Lagos at that point in time. So, so it was to go to another place. So I, the day before he left, we planned a meeting that we we're going to meet, have, you know ice cream and talk and all that so we went to a place and then that was our first time meeting like outside um chatting or outside church setting so when then we sat down the way we were just playing like children i still have the video and we made a video we laughed i was like this is guy i love this guy <laughs> so um that was it um that was how i knew that that was person i'm supposed to get married to so there were several things that were in play i was not ashamed about my need like i knew that i needed this to happen yeah i wanted it and then secondly i realized that i was very sensitive to my timing like when the scripture came to me and then i was able to know that oh, this is what god is saying to me and then god helped me at that period to be sensitive very sensitive that this is my time this thing is happening at this time and then discernment was very strong i was able to know that this is it you know it, it wasn't until i had a vision or something and yeah so i i believe strongly that god has different ways of speaking to us and as long as we hear the shepherd's voice we need to just hear what he's saying to us he might choose different methods to speak to us but then thank god i was able to discern that this is it and then god spoke through through you know the love I, I i experienced i the love i felt i knew that this was the person that was for me and then yeah he gave me a scripture you know to go on the journey that everything was going to be fine so that was it for me by the next video my husband will be telling us how he got to know that i was i am not was we go for it that i am the one for him <laughs> so stick with us till we bring forth the next video thank you so much for watching this video we love you if you've learned something please comment down below thank you so much what are you going to say to your fans thank you very much i hate this nice (laughs) we love you bye